Hi kids! Today, we're going to learn how birds and reptiles reproduce. Mammals, these live burying snakes are known as ovoviviparous. But this is not the same as female mammals in which there is a uterus, an embryo, an amniotic sac, and a placenta. This happens when the fertilized eggs in a female's body are developed and hatched internally, and so the mother snake gives birth to live young snakes. Examples of ovoviviparous snakes are rattlesnake, sea snake, anaconda, and boa constrictors. Hi kids! Today, we're going to learn how amphibians and fish reproduce. Like reptiles and birds, amphibians reproduce sexually. Frogs are classified as amphibians. Both male and female frogs do have a cloaca. A frog's cloaca is a short, simple tube that serves as the opening which allows the passage release of eggs. Their cloaca also serves as the urinary ducts, the rectum, and the bladder. Typically, female frogs lay eggs. The mating process in frogs brings the union of male and female egg cells. Unlike mammals, birds, and reptiles, fertilization in most frogs takes place outside the female's body. This process occurs through external fertilization where the female releases her eggs from her body into the water. Then, the male releases his sperms to fertilize them. The process of releasing the eggs and the act of both sexes is called spawning. Fish also reproduce sexually. Male and female organs of fishes are the testes and ovaries. Most fish species have testicles that are of the same size. Some fish, like sharks, have one testicle bigger than the other. A male shark has a pair of reproductive organs called a claspers, and a female shark has an opening called a cloaca. Internal fertilization occurs into the female's body. Different species of sharks reproduce differently. Some sharks are oviparous, others are ovoviviparous, and these are those that are viviparous sharks. Ovoviviparous is the mode of reproduction 
in which the animals develop eggs and hatch them inside the female's body. After hatching, the mother shark gives birth to young individuals. Those that are primitive fish, such as longfish and jawless fish, have only one testis. Their testicles produce sperm cells. In most cases, external fertilization occurs. There are some that occur through internal fertilization, while a few of fish reproduce by burying live young. Did you know that a few kinds of fish keep their eggs inside their bodies? When they hatch, they give birth to live young. These are called ovoviviparous fish. After internal fertilization, the eggs develop inside the mother's body but receive a little or no nourishment directly from the mother, instead on a food reserve inside the egg. Each embryo develops in its own egg. Guppy fish and stingray fish are examples of ovoviviparous fish. So guys, if you want to learn more in science with Teacher Eva, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification.